Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, so today I am going to be doing a first impression review and wear test of the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. If you want to see how this foundation wears on me throughout the day and my opinions on the product, just keep on watching. Uh, before you do that, make sure you give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, yeah, and let's get into the video. All right, so let's get into talking about this foundation. So I'm going to be trying out the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation today. Um, it claims to have up to a 24 hour wear time, which is a little excessive. I'm not trying to wear makeup for 24 hours in one day. Um, I bought the shade 102 Fair Porcelain in this foundation. It actually seems pretty fair, which is nice because a lot of the times I feel like Maybelline foundations aren't always light enough. They don't always have a huge shade range with the exception of the Fit Me line. Love that foundation, by the way. So we're gonna give this one a try. I know that this is a reformulation of an old foundation that they used to carry in the line, which I had never tried that one. So this is just gonna be a first impression of that foundation and kind of like a wear test. Um, let's see, this foundation claims to have full coverage, up to 24 hour wear. Um, it claims to have a seamless matte finish, and it's also supposed to be breathable and comfortable. Um, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores, derm and dermatologist tested. Um, so those are some pretty good claims. Let's get into the foundation. So I do really like the packaging. First of all, glass packaging it has a nice little top that goes on it. It looks super cute. Love the white, really sleek. And it does have a pump on it, which is nice. Like why does all foundation not come with a pump? Um, so I have already moisturized my skin, washed my face and everything. Um, and then I did put on a little bit of primer. I'm just wearing the original like Smashbox photo finish primer. Like I feel like that's a pretty standard primer. Um, I do have kind of dry to combination skin. Um, I've been really good with my skincare lately where, I mean, my, I don't have many like dry patches on my skin right now or anything. Um, but I do get a little bit oily, like my chin, I would say is probably like a problem area for me. Um, and maybe a little bit on my nose. I do get quite a bit of creasing through the day around my eyebrows actually, which is kind of annoying. Um, and my nose tends to be like a problem area as well, which is pretty typical. So anyway, let's put this foundation on her face. Today I'm just going to be applying it with a damp beauty blender. That's how I would normally apply my foundation. That's how I prefer to apply it. So we're just going to do that. Um, I'm just going to pump some out here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. We'll do like three pumps, see how that is. It's pretty, I mean, it's a little thick, but it seems nice. So I am just going to go ahead and dab that around my face here. And see how this is going to apply. So going in, I would definitely say this is a pretty good shade match for me, which is impressive because I am quite fair. Um, I really have a hard time finding foundations that are actually light enough for my skin, especially in drugstore formulas. Some of the ones that are a really good match for me are the... Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I love that foundation. It's only like $5. And um, that one comes in a shade that's fair enough for me. I usually use the porcelain shade. Um, and I also really like the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, as I mentioned before. I think I was using the shade. It might have been 110, which used to be their lightest shade. 
but they did come out with lighter shades in it, which I have not tried yet. So I'm not sure if those might be an even better match for me. So right away, I wouldn't really say that this foundation is like full coverage, but I mean, it has a nice coverage to it. I'm not like mad at it. And I'm not typically someone who wants like a full caked up face of makeup, you know? Um, I like things that typically look like skin. Um, that's kind of my aesthetic in the foundation. Um, so more like the medium coverage is where I like to stay, but I mean some days like you want like a full, you want a full beat of makeup. It does look like it's emphasizing some of my pores like in this area a little bit. And like I don't know if I'm really seeing like a totally matte finish to it. I mean like you can still see my nose is kind of shiny. But let's go in on the forehead here. And see how that works. And I typically don't even apply my foundation first. But I just wanted to do this. And um, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup in my designated room for that. I... Do you have like a room that I'm gonna be filming in? I just moved, so we're in my living room right now. Um, but that room is horrendous right now. So not filming in there today. Like ain't, nobody needs to see that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna, you know, do this real quick. Go finish my makeup and come back in a second. This is the foundation after just like one one coat of foundation if you will um, it feels I mean it feels like it might be setting in a little bit but like it's still a little tacky so I don't know about the transfer proofness of it like I I would say this like right now is like a light medium coverage like you can still see some of my freckles coming through here and even I mean on my nose like I feel like you can still see a little bit of the redness like you can definitely still see the freckles on my forehead here um so I'm gonna just like shoot out one more pump of this even that might have been too much um, and I'm just going to kind of see how this will build on the skin and see if I can get just like a little bit more coverage. Like I'm not trying to go for a cake face, but I mean, girl, you say you're full coverage, so it definitely looks like it's covering a little bit better. Like it's building and like right here on my forehead, I have like a little kind of dry patch tried out this new face mask last night. I don't remember the name of it. I just got it like as a little sample from Sephora when I ordered from them. And it was supposed to be like a nighttime radiating sleeping mask. And I was like, yes, like those are things that I want in life. But, and then when I put it on, it was super thick. And I was like, oh yeah, that's really nice. And then I was reading the instructions for it. And it was like, you can apply a moisturizer on top of this if you want to. And I was like, I don't know. That seems like a little much because this is so thick. But now I woke up in the morning and my face was pretty dry today. So if I try that again, I'm definitely going to put a moisturizer on top of it because it was, I had some areas in my face that were looking a little crusty today I'm like I'm not trying to have a crusty face so this definitely is looking a little bit more matte on the skin but it's not like dry looking it really has like a little bit more life to it which is good I like when my foundation has 
life to it. Oh, this spot right here, though, I think it's going to be, I think that spot right there is going to be an issue, but we'll see, I guess. I don't think I'm going to set this. I typically don't set my whole face, but I might put a little bit of powder here just so my powder products blend a little bit better, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go finish up my makeup, and I'll be back in a second to do a check-in. Okay. So, I just finished putting on the rest of my makeup, um, and I ended up not powdering my face, like, at all, except for my under eye area, and I powdered my nose a little bit and my chin a little bit, because, like I said, those are the areas that kind of get oily, I don't want my under eyes to crease, um, and the foundation looks pretty good, I mean, I think that the color is definitely a good shade match for me. Um, it is nice and fair. Everything blended really nicely on top of it. I ended up not setting it because I did my eye makeup first, so by the time I was done doing my eye makeup, this had, like, really, like, set down. Um, powders blended evenly over top of it. Um, I don't really have any creasing or anything that I'm noticing right now. Um, so... I mean, we'll see how it wears for the rest of the day. Um, I am going to go to lunch with a friend pretty soon. Um, and then I work like a short evening shift at work tonight. Um, so we'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day. Um, it feels, I mean, it feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. I definitely feel like I have foundation on. Like, it's not super lightweight by any means. But it's not, like, heavy like the... Tart Amazonian clay or something like it's not like thick feeling so um uh, feels pretty good oh I'm gonna do some check-ins throughout the day definitely at the end of the day so we can see how this foundation wears see if it holds up to their 24 hour claim I'm no I'm not wearing this for 24 hours but like if it lasts for 12 hours like I'd be happy with that so We'll see. All right, guys. So apparently while I was doing my check-ins, my microphone was not plugged in properly. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of this video. I apologize for that. Um, so this clip right here is just showing you my makeup at the end of the day. Um, I did this check-in at about 11 o'clock at night. So the foundation was on my face for a total of about 11 hours. Um, overall, you can kind of see it did transfer a little bit on my chin and on my nose. You can kind of see where the foundation did wipe off a little bit. Um, I did change a couple of times throughout the day, so I'm not sure if me just changing my shirt, if the foundation kind of transferred a little bit and that was why. My allergies were also kind of bad that day, so I did have to blow my nose like several times throughout the day. So I won't really fault the foundation around my nose area. However, you can see that there is a little bit of creasing. Um, like I said, where I crease around my eyebrows a little bit and around my smile lines as well, there was a little bit of creasing. I would say overall my skin did look pretty dry at the end of the day with this foundation on. It definitely got a little bit more matte. So I would say overall, I wouldn't really recommend this foundation for dry skin. If you have more normal to oily skin, this would probably be a good option for you, especially considering it is a drugstore foundation. It was only like $11 and I did have pretty good coverage and I would say it did wear fairly well throughout the day. I mean, for an 11 hour wear, I definitely wasn't seeing as much creasing as I do with some other foundation. So overall, I would say that the Super Safe Foundation from Maybelline is a good foundation. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap the video up there. I mean, before I go, just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel, like, give it a thumbs up, and follow me on all of my social media. Thanks guys. Bye.